Hello, this is Teresa with Beans and Stitches. And have you ever seen the cake mix or the cupcake mix recipe patterns by Moda? I never really paid a whole lot of attention to these things because I, I always just kind of did my own half square triangles or foundation patterns, but these were really kind of neat. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how to use them. So the cupcake mixes go with the charm. Um, packs and then the cake mixes go with the layer cakes. So these would be 10 inches and then of course the charm packs are five and so are these little foundation patterns. So when you open it up the paper is foundation paper and then you have instructions that give you straight or random block setting examples and the different layouts that you can make. The paper itself has arrows numbered and it's just easy to follow the arrows, figure out which blocks you wanna make. And it's, it's pretty straightforward, nothing really hard about it. You will put the lighter on top. So you're gonna put right sides together. So you've got the darker underneath and then you put the light on top and line it up and you want to pin this all in place. The paper goes on top of your fabric and you're gonna pin it all in place. Make sure it's pinned fairly well, you know, where you can pull them out as you're sewing. Again, you're gonna start um, at the star on the paper. There's a little star down there and you're gonna follow the arrows, just follow them. Now you wanna have your machine also set at 12 stitches per inch, and that's 2.0 on my Husqvarna machine. It's not hard at all. Make sure it's pinned in place pretty well. Get it all straight. Then when you get to the machine, you are going to start, try and start right on the line. And this is where the 12 stitches per inch comes in fairly handy because you want it to stop at the correct point. You don't want to have to uh, go into another block or cut off your stitches and then have your block fall apart. Move, move the pins out of the way. I don't always do that, of course, by accident. You can run over one. And you are following the arrows. You're gonna stop. Just slow down when you come to the end turn and continue on. Slow down when you come to the end. And now I've gone all the way around and I am back at the star on the other side, of course. And you are stitching on the dotted lines, your solid lines or your cutting lines. And you wanna make sure that you kinda stay you don't really want to sew off the paper. I mean, it's not going to really affect the block because you're going to cut all of that off on the solid lines when you get to the end. Now on this part, um, very simple. You're just going to cut on the solid lines. Make sure that you have stitched all the lines before you start cutting on the solid lines. Just line up. There's not really any order to cutting these out. And so everything on the outside of the solid line, of course, gets cut off. So you cut right on the solid line. And these cut perfect half square triangles. There is no need to take a ruler and trim it to size. Once you get them all sewn, they're pretty perfect and easy, no marking of fabric with lines and sewing down the middle. These little foundation papers are quite handy. And then when you go to rip the paper off, there's a little trick where you can put your thumb and pull it all off and that paper will come completely off at once, but I haven't gotten great at it. So I just kind of pull toward me. I'll crease it and then pull the paper toward me so you don't loosen up your stitches. And so again, there are 44 um, cards in each of the cake mix recipes or the cupcake um, 
mix recipes and that makes quite a bit. So in each recipe there's different layouts and I found these quite handy and easy to to use and again no ruler is needed to trim to size. It's the size it's supposed to be just trim off the dog ears and start putting your layout together. So if you were curious about the cake or cupcake mix recipes um, and how they worked, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.